Oh, yes, everyone has. Um, Garish, I have a question. So, Shivam is there. So, <clears throat> Yes, we were talking about are we worthy of sorrow and suffering? Did you all get the time to reflect over this question? Are you worthy of suffering? Did you get some time to reflect over the question? Or simply heard. Yeah. Yes, Teddy. I didn't I know did. if it meant that you deserved it or if you were uh, were so humble. Which way to take that question? I didn't know how to take it. Like if it meant that you're so humble that you that you I am are ready. not enough for that, you know? Let me oh, make it let me put a thought in your mind. I am very humble. That is why I am suffering. No, that's not, I think that's not right. That's my opinion. So, 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 we never, never use the word deserve for suffering because of our essential nature is peace and happiness. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so this is how, you know, that is the beauty of the teaching. <clears throat> you know, this virus is so severe. Virus. <laughs> that I'm worthy of suffering. I deserve suffering. <sighs> This virus is very severe, more severe than COVID. And it is highly contagious. I come to you and I say, Terry, you see that oh, bad things are happening in my life. So you say you pat on my shoulder. Okay, okay, no worries. You are already receiving that. It is highly contagious. A little effect will drop you from learning. That is why we see that I, I have been telling you. We have to become a seeker to continue to listen. Otherwise, nothing will happen. A little effect will drop you from learning, will cause great pain. You see that we... For 10 years, I love you so dearly. And the next moment it is gone. Look at the severity of this virus. So we need vaccination regularly. Two vaccine of COVID will not work. You know, now they have started giving a booster shot. <laughs> so this is a booster shot. So you see that contemplation, now pay attention, contemplation depends on the memory. What I learned, if I do not remember, you know, you just now, before the start of the lesson, <coughs> Brandy was saying, you know, my mindset today is Saturday. You know, it's not a, it's a delusion, you see? We know it is not affecting me. Now I realize that it is Monday. <clears throat> but how the delusion takes over us? So that is why to keep that memory fresh all the time. If you do not have that memory, how can you respect or love these teachings? How can you love or respect the teacher or anyone? Love, respect, faith, knowledge, all are based on the right memory. 
not the wrong memory that, you know, I'm worthy of suffering as Terry was saying, you know, I deserve. Come on. How dare your mind you say that I deserve suffering? No way. Memory retrieves is the right knowledge and the knowledge recalls. We should recall this knowledge whenever it is required. Randy did it. No, it is not Saturday, it is Monday. So, I have a um, question. Yeah. If something is a bad happening to you and you're feeling it, then you have to... Uh, uh, not focus on stating this that it's yeah. occurring because yeah, 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 when yeah. you say i'm suffering you're stating what's occurring that you're feeling it, it, and, you, and so are you saying that we have to remember to state it differently so that it's more correct yes okay we should have an operative memory operative memory that i am not worthy of suffering why to purify the mind. Why? So that this mind should reflect inner peace and happiness. So whatever's <laughs> occurring that it seems like suffering, you could state it, you could name it a different way to simply say that it's occurring, but not put a value judgment on it. The moment you put a value judgment, you are suffering from the three diseases. Attachment uh, is attachment, so and so oh. and delusion. Oh boy. Take, take the same example of Brandy, you know, it is Saturday. So now my mind in deep delusion continues to claim it is Saturday, it is Saturday, it is Saturday. So what you normally do it on Saturday, you will start doing it. Oh, operative memory. Now see, when we forget you, we forget my honey took care of me in difficult times. For years together, he or she loved me, he, should, he and she should have taken care of me. Parents saved me when I was a baby living my animal life, we lose that respect and love and care. Why? Three diseases. Remember, we underplay these acts of kindness done to us and forgets. Are you not alive? Is it not an act of kindness from the existence? Why shouldn't I keep that operative memory in my head? rather than, oh, I am worthy of suffering. Mm -hmm. Teachings are very subtle. Mm -hmm. So the same way the teacher in the Eastern wisdom uh, takes care of everyone, everyone, like a mother. And sometimes the teacher gives a kick. To care so that the seeker evolves. Now see, let us move little further. Mind that is absorbed in the, these three diseases claims fearlessness. Another point. That's a very important point. I'm just focused on, I'm, am I worthy of suffering? You take a man who is drunkard, he is not at all concerned about the world. Right? So now if I'm drunkard by the three diseases, who cares? Ah, what you are talking, you are wasting your time in meditation. I'm already intoxicated with their three suffering. They claim, you know, once you are drunkard, you claim that you are fearless. You are secure. 
but you are not. I told you the last time the story of a goddess, goddess of sorrow, sadness, big face. Huh? All the time. I told you that she loved me. And it happened in my, you can say, my extended family. I don't want to name that. Girl. Very wise. Everyone praises. Intelligent girl. Now what happened? Because of the three diseases, she had a very higher expectations from everyone, including her husband. When the mind is obsessed with the seeking pleasure and a higher expectation, the intellect follows the mind. Now understand, the intellect follows the mind. It builds a subtle ego that refuses to agree even after understanding. I told you, Knowledge is realized in stasis. Another guy who is uh, a Supreme Court lawyer in India, he was attending my sessions. You know, in India, I used to give lessons five days a week, five hours per day. Every month, it was a very crash course. So you see, 2,500 hours in a month. You have to be at the right time. I used to close the door. And this guy attended at least 10 different sessions. It means I'm the failure. I'm the failure. But no. And after five hours of the session, she, he used to wait for me when everyone left, and he used to cry. So one time crying is okay, and the second time, then I realized his nature. <laughs> I used to look at him. He used to cry for 20, 30 minutes. And I said, done. So, but why you are were scaring me? Pay attention to this. Why you are looking at me? After half an hour of your crying, you, you are calm now. Understand, not because of your crying. Terry, again I am answering your question. Not because of my crying. But why? Why? Think of it. They have found a different channels that I'm crying, you know, I become calm. That is the principle of modern cycle. Let it be there. We are not, but when I'm crying, I need an emotional support. What is attachment? Emotional dependence. Those who are sad, grieve, blame, complain, are they worthy of doing so? Ask yourself. Now see the opposite side. When we are in love, smile, happiness, we can pass on. At least there is something worthy. <clears throat> Can you go to your friend and say, you know, I'm very sad. Let me pass little sadness to you. Yeah. Think of this. The more you think and contemplate, this mind has to change. What we are working on that, how we can work on the mind. I'm sad because one day you love me. Can you say that? Sadness, sorrow, and the suffering do not exist. Simple. It exists because of the three symptoms, three diseases. 
as long as these three diseases are there, have you taken two vaccination shots? <laughs> you need another booster. As long as if your mind says, no, no, it exists, I feel it. You feel it because of the three illnesses. It exists because of attachment and detachment, emotional dependence on one side and delusion on the other side. Are you getting it? Take the same example. It's a very simple example. Brandy said, no, my mind said it is Saturday. So your mind will start to working what you used to do it on Saturdays, not on Mondays. Who is responsible? Now question is, Does Saturday exist today or not? That much needs to be reminded to the mind. Forget about what are the symptoms, because that will not help you. That is the uh, way of the science. Our great master Krishna says, wise people do not grieve, do not remain sad, do not have a big face. Can you rephrase that sentence in your head? <laughs> Are you wise? Are you wise? So he said that those who grieve, remain sad, are food. Krishna hits our subtle ego. How dare you say, no, no, you are food. He told Arjuna. He told many of his secrets. Sorrow includes anger, hesitation, sadness. They do not give any result. Are you sure? Think of this. Crying, sadness, grief can give you any result. No, no, but I should grieve, you know. Question is, how Krishna arrived at this, at this wisdom? How? So I gave you a hint. Where, what, can you show me any object of sadness? Any or any object of suffering in the world? For one, Vodka is a joy and a pleasure. For others, it is addictive. Tell me, anyone. A husband or a wife says, I'm fed up with you. But 10 years, were you fed up? No. Now, yes. Object of sadness, suffering is not present in the world. Show me any. So from where this problem has come? Perry has asked a beautiful question. So I'll focus on that to this. And that is a good way of learning. <clears throat> so object of sadness is not there. I become the subject of sadness and suffering, but they do not exist. So from where it has come? Our master says it has come because the mind, mind covered the intellect of the right knowledge. And now the intellect is working as a pleasure intellect in expectation. Are you getting it? Pleasure intellect. Pleasure intellect. The moment I wake up, the world should welcome me, even if I have a big face. Why should you? Are you special? Come on. So my mind is totally obsessed with the pleasure intellect. So now understand, that is why we are learning. 
three types of intellect. Pleasure intellect, expectation intellect, and the wise intellect. The wise intellect works with the discernment. Pleasure intellect, now retrieve the story. Log of wood became an alligator. Do you remember? In my mind, I create a story. Oh, do you see that, you know, Terry hated me. Harry did not say hello. He did not wish me. No, no. It's the expectation. Why? Pleasure. Look at this. Pleasure and uh, expectation intellect. Now that log of wood has become an alligator. No, no, I will not go. I will not talk to her. You see, constant working. The mind is constantly working. So now mind, if it is constantly working in this way, ask the question, am I worthy of suffering? And Terry is enjoying. She doesn't have anything, you know. She, may, she might be busy. This thing happens, I can tell you, every day in our life. Every day in our life. Whether you agree or do not agree, if you examine, you will understand. Sadness depends on our emotional dependence, full of expectation. Do we know how much to expect? Do you measure the expectation? Discernment intellect. I told you the story. A boy was reading the book, uh, How to Take Care of the Kids. He was hardly 13 years old. The dad asked him, "How? what the hell, you know, why are you are studying? Why are you are reading this book? I'm just finding out how much you are taking care of. Come on. <laughs> so if I live, in this way, suffering will never leave me. Make it sure. What I did, why the suffering will never leave, leave uh, will never leave me. I'm giving a another word for you in the intellect. We downgraded our intellect. Crush at first sight, I downgrade my intellect. I like this. I will have it. You downgraded your intellect. Pleasure intellect and expectation intellect is there. Intellect fell down to a low level. What happens then? Then you are confused. What is right and good? Are you getting it? Think of it. When you downgrade your intellect, a small word destroys the relationship. Then what we say? Enough is enough. I have heard you too much. You agree to a person 99 times and a single time you refused, relationship is gone. Don't do it. I'll tell you. <coughs> when you downgrade the intellect, you suffer internally. You claim that you love that person so much. I can tell you, I have attended many services in New Jersey. I did not get any chance to attend any service here. Thanks, God. Ashok, service means that after the death, you go and attend the service. I attended the service of... So this woman has been taking care of her maybe 95, 96 years of her mother. She is still with me. 
you see what happens after you continue with the emotional dependence. So she told me, enough is enough, you know. We have been going, you know, she doesn't talk and she doesn't speak. It's better, you know, what she told me. I don't see the life in the individual if I downgrade my intellect. Think of this. Think. Do I want to survive? Yes. Does she want to survive? Yes. Survival is same. Existence is same. But we find a rational, we have found a rational solution. It's okay in the society. <clears throat> My master used to say, you invest in attachment and detachment, you invest in delusion, so sell, you will reap. What you get? Sadness, sorrow, suffering. Then you try to prove I am worthy of suffering. It is not there. It do not exist. It exists because of the intellect is downgraded. Why it is downgraded? Because of pleasure intellect and expectation. One more thing. But, but, but. The moment you realize it, you start contemplating and reflecting, you also come to an understanding that I'm not worthy of suffering. But why I got the suffering? It was a kick. It was a kick in our life. Now the time is there to become aware and alert. Otherwise, how can I become aware and alert? So every time <laughs> Randy's mind says it is Saturday, it is a kick, and she returns that, it, no, it is Monday. I get a kick from the people. It's good. So now because it is a discernment intellect, Terry, again, I'm focusing on that same principle. I get a kick. Thank you. Thanks, God. Now I will live my life transcending the suffering. Every kick of this word shows the path to inner peace and happiness. So our master says that never fight, react, anger over anyone. Look within. Ask the mind to give space to the intellect. Upgrade it. And then you will realize that nothing in the world can make you worry. Sad. And then we, I don't get a chance to say you, Mr. Sad, Miss Sadness. Etc. Et that helps us to evolve. Do you see that? Kind of, you know, you start living into a different state of the consciousness. Nobody notice. People will notice once you start living into that. So it opens the door that we will take up next week, that that mind works on us through sh shreyas, not prayers. These are the two words. We will take in a very, uh, with a clarity, shreyas is a movement what is right and good, that is common to all. And prayers means what I like, what is pleasant to me, I do it, I will do it. 
Now see that that meditation will come down at the action level, at the behavior level, at the level of our attitude. So once I understand that what is right and common, what is right and good, that is common to all. I just gave you an example of this. Now she is no more, but uh, she doesn't dare to speak about that thing again because I told her straight up. She has been with me for a couple of years. I said, "How dare you think like this?" You know, in our country, it's very common. No, no, you know, we always talk. You know, now it's, uh, uh, you know, no. He or she is already 99 and she hardly or he hardly speaks. It is better. And anyone, if anyone says about me, <laughs> can anyone say about me what will happen? Get rid of this money. I see the life they have a right to survive. Finished. Let me take care the best possible way. If they are near and dear to me, I should keep my mind totally clear. Are you getting? So from there we can go down that how to translate these principles into action. Now you see this meditation. Eastern wisdom covers every facet of our life. Ah, then let us start over another journey of practice. Eyes are closed.